All right, so I hope everyone's doing okay. Just wanted to show you a trap idea I've come up with right now. I say I've come up with it, I kind of saw a trap, changed it to a simpler version. And I'll tell you what I've been looking at. Um, I bought a book off eBay. I think someone just reprinted an old book, I can tell, because I'm sure I've seen this book before. And the one I've got is A4 with a different colour cover. And it's just called Trap Building um, by numerous authors, I think. I'll show you a picture of it. And I'll also later on, I'll show you the actual book properly. But it's got a load of traps in it. And I was looking at a few. And I thought, I wonder if I could kind of simplify one of these ideas. And this is what I come up with. So, you've got a piece of wood, I'll move this about so you can see it, but I'll just tell you the basics. It's a piece of wood, and from here to here, there's a slot cut in it. On the bottom down here, is a spike, so you can push it in the ground up to about this level. So, a, a screw with like a washer, coiled spring, down to a bent kind of configuration of wire I will show you that configuration in a minute a screw through there which goes through a loop a nail there which on this one which is like the trigger bar has a slight notch in it and that notch just lays over the top of this nail so the basic configuration of the wire is that so you do a loop you come along, you do another loop, around and over, kind of a pretty straight turn there up, and then bend that back over, which is there, and then this bend, you tighten it under a vice so it stays there, tight as you can with a vice, or hammer it down, or you could solder it if you're that kind of way inclined, and then the trigger stick, which is this one, basically just that, a loop at the end to go there but then you have to, wherever it fits to this nail you have to file a notch in it so like I said you would bury it, stab it into the ground to about there so, so it's kind of, it's just that sticking out build some stuff round maybe a cubby round it so the animal has to pass through here or you could put it on an animal's hole or come from this direction and when the animal stands on this one it catches it like that so you can see the slot now So you've got a nail there, that is what, I hope you can see this, but there's a slight, slight notch there, see it? That notch engages with that nail. Here there's another screw, which is round that loop. That's to give it it gives it that motion and then the coiled spring pulls it up. That you stab it in the ground. I suppose if you worked it out properly, this notch see where it comes down further it doesn't need to be there that could be solid wood up to there but it's just because this was the prototype just making it up to there so stab it in the ground and to set it it's pretty good actually because you can set it from the back 
without having to worry about having your fingers inside without having to have your fingers inside something. See, it's pretty sensitive it went off by itself and this is like a spongy soft piece of um foam and it will actually set it off now this bit i wasn't sure about what you could do if you knew exactly where this had to go here you could actually put a loop here and have this trigger so it didn't fall up and down but at the time I didn't actually know where the trigger was going to end up so I couldn't put a loop there if you know what I mean I had to just do it so it went wherever but that does work the animal goes to come through stands on that I thought that was a pretty simple idea so I'm going to have another look through that book and see if I can find any other ideas what I can kind of modify or make simpler. I thought that was actually pretty decent. Right, here's for watching. I'll see you later.